transporting passengers safely. Bus drivers must have a commercial driver's license if they drive a vehicle designed to seat more than 16 or more persons, including the bus driver. Bus drivers must have a passenger endorsement on their commercial driver's license. Before driving your bus, you must be sure it is safe. You must review the inspection report made by the previous driver. Only if defects reported earlier have been certified as repaired or not needed to be repaired, should you sign the previous driver's report. This is your certification that the defects reported earlier have been fixed. You must complete a full pre-trip inspection as described in section two. Plus, there are additional items that must be inspected on the bus. As you check the outside of the bus, close any open emergency exits. Also close any open access panels before driving. People sometimes damage unattended buses. Always check the interior of the bus before driving to ensure rider safety. Aisles and stairwells should always be clear. The following parts of your bus must be in a safe working condition. Each handhold and railing, floor coverings, signaling devices, emergency exit handles. The seats must be safe for riders. All seats must be securely fastened to the bus. Never drive with an open emergency exit door or window. The emergency exit sign on the emergency door must be clearly visible. If there is a red emergency door light, it must work. Turn it on at night or any time you use your outside lights. You may lock some emergency roof hatch in a partly open position for fresh air. Do not leave them open as a regular practice. Keep in mind the bus is higher clearance when driving with them open. Make sure your bus has the fire extinguisher and emergency reflectors required by law. The bus must also have spare electrical fuses unless equipped with circuit breakers. The driver's seat should have a seat belt. Always use it for safety. Do not allow riders to leave carry-on baggage in a doorway or an aisle. There should be nothing in the aisle that might trip other riders. Secure baggage and freight in ways that avoids damage and allows the driver to move freely and easily, allow riders to exit by any window or door in an emergency, and protect riders from injury if carry-on falls or shifts. Watch for cargo or baggage containing hazardous materials. Most hazardous materials cannot be carried on a bus. Buses may carry small arms ammunition labeled RMD, emergency hospital supplies and drugs. Never allow riders to carry on common hazards such as a car battery or gasoline. Buses typically cannot carry many items that require a placard. Buses may never carry the following. Class two poison, liquid class C poison, tear gas, irritating material, more than 100 pounds of solid class C poison, explosive in the space occupied by people except small arms ammunition, labeled radioactive material in the space occupied by people, and more than 500 pounds total or 100 pounds of any one class. No rider may stand forward of the rear of the driver's seat. Buses designed to allow standing must have a two inch line on the floor or some other means of showing riders where they cannot stand. This is called the standee line. All riders must stay behind it. Many charter and inner city carriers have passenger comfort and safety rules. Mention rules about smoking, drinking, or use of radio and tape players at the start of the trip. Explaining the rules at the start will help avoid trouble later on. Starting and stopping should be as smooth as possible to avoid rider injury. Occasionally, you may have a drunk or a disruptive rider. You must ensure this rider's safety as well as that of others. Don't discharge such riders where it will be unsafe for them. It may be safer at the next scheduled stop or a well-lit area where there are other people. 
many carriers have guidelines for handling disruptive riders. The most common bus accidents. Bus accidents often happen at intersection. Use caution even if a signal or a stop sign controls other traffic. School and mass transit buses sometimes scrape off mirrors or hit passing vehicles when pulling out from a bus stop. Remember the clearance your bus needs and watch for poles and tree limbs at stops. Know the size of the gap your bus needs to accelerate and merge with traffic. Wait for the gap to open before leaving the stop. Never assume other drivers will break to give you room when you signal or start to pull out. Crashes on curves that kill people and destroy buses result from excessive speed, often when rain or snow has made the road slippery. Every bank curve has a safe design speed. In good weather, the posted speed is safe for cars, but it may be too high for many buses. With good traction, the bus may roll over. With poor traction, it may slide off the curb. Reduce speed for curves. If your bus leans toward the outside on a bank curve, you are driving too fast. Stop your bus between 15 and 50 feet before the railroad crossing. Look and listen in both directions for trains. You should open your forward door if it improves your ability to see or hear an approaching train. Before crossing after a train is passed, make sure there isn't another train coming in another direction on another track. If your bus has a manual transmission, never change gears while crossing the tracks. You do not have to stop, but you must slow down and carefully check for other vehicles at streetcar crossings, when a policeman or a flagman is directing traffic, if a traffic signal is green, or at a crossing marked as exempt or abandoned. Stop at drawbridges that do not have a signal light or a traffic control attendant. Stop at least 50 feet before the draw of the bridge. Look to make sure the draw is completely closed before crossing. You do not need to stop, but must slow down and make sure it is safe when there is a traffic light showing green, or the bridge has an attendant or a traffic officer who controls traffic whenever the bridge is open. Inspect your bus at the end of each shift. If you work for an interstate carrier, you must complete a written re inspection report for each bus driven. Prohibited practices. Avoid fueling your bus with riders on board unless absolutely necessary. Never refuel in a closed building with riders on board. Don't talk with riders or engage in any other distracting activity while driving. Do not tow or push a disabled bus with riders aboard the vehicle unless getting off would be unsafe. Only tow or push the bus to the nearest safe spot to discharge the passengers. The interlock applies the brakes and holds the throttle in idle position when the rear door is open. The interlock releases when you close the rear door. Do not use the safety feature in place of the parking brake. 